million Americans have taken the single dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine, but tonight many are wondering how long it will stay effective. Now the company is touting its COVID-19 booster shot. Kick on Joy Benedict with more. It's another day of nonstop patients looking for tests at the city's COVID-19 sites. But for the vaccinated, what many here want is information on boosters. Yeah, it's very confusing. I think that's the problem. Victor DeMatta got the Johnson & Johnson one and done vaccine back in the spring. He's worried about whether he's still protected. I'm a little concerned about it because now I know Pfizer just got their full approval. Uh, they have recommendations for the boosters, but Johnson & Johnson still seems a little up in the air. Johnson & Johnson took its first step in answering those concerns, announcing that the company has data now supporting the use of a booster eight months after the initial shot. It does stimulate the immune response to a higher response, a higher level than what happens after the primary vaccination. Dr. Timothy Brewer is a professor of medicine and epidemiology at UCLA Medical Center. It does seem common sense. It doesn't always happen because you can saturate the immune system. You can get to a level where more doesn't really do anything. The study done by J&J &J shows the booster dose created a rapid and robust increase in spike binding antibodies that were nine times higher after the booster than after receiving just one dose. If you look at the raw numbers in general, the Moderna and Pfizer seem to be doing better than the Johnson & Johnson. But you have to remember these studies are done in different populations and with different uh, COVID-19 variant strains. So you can't directly compare them. It is proving to be just as effective in preventing significant illness and death, which is why Dr. Brewer says it should not be overlooked. The major advantage of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is that you only have to give it once. Something those vaccinated say is peace of mind as they wait for more information and possibly another shot. I guess I'm okay for another couple of months. Uh, I don't know. Johnson & Johnson says it will submit its results announced today to a peer review journal in the near future. It's the next step in getting FDA approval for its booster. From Van Nuys, I'm Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News. We have new details tonight.